Hey everyone and welcome to the next Tech in 5 Minutes. So normally speaking I'd make one of these videos every week, but I've been very busy with a new project of mine. And that's actually what this Tech in 5 Minutes video is about. It's about SIP, Cyberdrain Improved Partner Portal. In the last couple of weeks I've been focused on building a multi-tenant M365 management solution. This solution helps you simplify uh, multi-tenant management for all your environment uh, in your Microsoft Partner Portal. It really improves on existing technologies and makes sure that it's very suitable to the MSP workflow. The project is entirely open source, it's free, or at least it's a sponsorware solution, so feel free to sponsor if you're using it, but there's no obligation. Then the solution works in uh, Azure using Azure Static Web Apps and Azure Function. So instead of talking constantly about it, let me show you some of the cool features that you can use CRPP or SIP for. So when you first open SIP, and this is my local development solution, uh, not the hosted Azure version, just so you know. And when you first open SIP, you get a lot of options. You can either select options from this list or just jump to the side menu. We've tried to focus so much on what MSPs actually do, so everything that you want is probably already in the product. When you click on administration and users, you get a user list, or at least you get a user list for the tenants that are available. First, you'll have to select a tenant, so let's do that. You're already seeing that this tenant list populates almost instantly, unlike the Microsoft Partner Portal, which can take up to a minute before the entire list is populated. In this case, we're clicking on one of my testing tenants, and we'll immediately get the specific user list for the testing tenant. Here in the actions column, the most used actions can immediately be found, such as editing the user, but also converting them to a shared mailbox to or from, disabling the user, blocking their sign in or resetting their passwords, or even deleting the entire user. There's also an option to send an MFA push to the specific user, for example, to confirm their identity. Let's click on edit user to just edit this user and see what's going on. After the page loads, you'll see that uh, you'll immediately get all the options that you're used to in the portal. Except that this isn't spread out over five different pages as it is in the current portal. It's just all a single page. Here you can just select, for example, I want to remove all the licenses for this specific user. I hit edit user and we immediately get the results back. The user license has been edited and it's been removed for this user. And that's with a lot of these things, you get instant feedback inside of the portal. Inside of the portal, we also, for example, have an offboarding wizard in which you can select your users and select which offboarding uh, tasks you want to perform. And we've done this with the MSP mindset in mind. So a lot of MSPs convert their mailbox to a shared mailbox when a user leaves, or they remove them from all groups or hide them from the address list. All of this functionality is already available. We also have a lot of reports, for example, a report on which specific devices can be found in a portal or um, who's using MFA and what type of MFA they're using. Multi-factor authentication is very important, as we all know, so we're actually measuring specifically which type of MFA. The standard per-user MFA, which is considered legacy by Microsoft, conditional MFA, conditional access policies, or security defaults. And you can easily see which user has it, which user does not have it. We also have basic authentication reports and a lot of other reports inside of the tool. And that's one of the things that we really enjoy doing. I'm talking about we, where it's mostly me and a couple of other contributors who are starting to add to the product. We want to make sure that this is an all-encompassing multi-tenant solution that manages your M365 environment. It helps you manage it by making sure that a lot of things are automated, but a lot of things are also easier to find. No more clicking 50 times in a portal just to find the security state. The administration part uh, is, is also very cool. You can immediately jump to the specific portals if you still need to perform something in that portal or you want to create a specific type of um, security setting that you can't find in SIP yet. You can also discover which conditional access policies have been created and standards. Standards are very cool in my opinion. They're a way to apply a standard configuration to specific tenants. For example, I'll take Smile Network and I'll select all of these options. Enabling the unified audit log is something you always want on. You want security defaults, or send item delegation, admin consent, all of these standard features that we currently execute as MSPs by hand when we take over a tenant are constantly reapplied. 
So that also means no one is able to disable the unified audit log anymore because SIP detects and immediately recovers that. These currently run every three hours and we're working on making sure that it runs even faster or even more. There's a lot of functionality in this product. Um, we've already built so much and we're expanding so rapidly that everything I show you today could already be improved tomorrow. We're making sure that each release, we're adding things that MSP actually, MSPs actually need. Another cool example is chocolatey apps or chocolatey apps. I'm not really sure on how to pronounce it. I recently made a video with uh, someone else and they also pronounce it a bit differently. But you're able to add apps to your Intune application list just instantly. For example, if I want to add Firefox to small networks, I can just enter Firefox as the package name here, an application name, click next a couple of times and even decide if I immediately want to assign it to all users, devices or all users and devices. And I can upload this application to Intune. The same goes for autopilot and other Intune policies. For example, we have an Intune pol policy template engine. I can say I want to apply a specific policy to a specific tenant. For example, in this case, a default policy we've made available to enable OneDrive silent logon and non folder move. I click on this, I click next, and the policy gets applied to the specific tenant. And there's a lot of this functionality that we're working on that improves everything in general. Another cool thing that one of the contributors recently made is the um, best practice and analyzer. I can't show you this right now because I don't have any data in my best practices, but this shows you your secure score if you have specific security features enabled, if you have specific security features disabled. And you're able to just use that report to show it to your clients like, hey, we've actually secured your environment. And you might have noticed that everything in this portal is pretty snappy. That's because we're using all native APIs and we're making sure that we are accessing data in the fastest way possible. So let's recap that a little, shall we? SIP is a way of improving your M365 management experience by introducing a new portal in which you can make sure that your, all your tenants get the same standards applied across the line. It also makes it a lot easier to deploy applications. It makes it easier to deploy policies. It makes it easier to um, make sure that standardization is applied. It makes it easier to manage users and groups and teams and OneDrive and all of these settings that we currently have to jump through hoops through 10 different portals for, that all of that is simplified. It's a free open source project and I'll put the link in the description below to the project itself. Um, we have a sponsorware component, so if you want to sponsor, if you're a, corp a corporate entity that wants to sponsor or just a personal user, check out the sponsorship link too. It all explains itself there. We're building this at a very rapid pace. Um, we already have over 200 active users right now and that is expanding at least 10 or 20 users a day, somewhere in between that. I'm very happy about the results of the project so far and all of the um, um, amazing feedback I've been getting. If you want to give feedback, head on down to our Discord channel or to our GitHub issues page, and we'll be sure to in incorporate all your feedback into the product in the near future. One of the things that I'm enjoying most about this is that I'm seeing that vendors are finally waking up and seeing that uh, with a very little amount of development time, you could put down a very cool product. I'm hoping you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time. Cheers.